Yo. Uh oh, there he is. It is I. It is me, brother DSP. Right, that's how you do it. <laughs> it is I, oh. me, brother DSP. Oh, right. That's I got right. it the wrong way. Uh oh. There it is. There it is. There it is. Uh oh, there he is. Bro. Okay. People, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up. I got, I got y'all intros down. Oh, man. Who are you today, though? Because I know how you do, man. So who are you? Today? Oh, I ain't got, I ain't got the name. Though. I guess um um, Bravatric Ewing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. I got the jersey on. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, I'm done with you guys, man. Speaking of jerseys, we finally got yours in. So I'm gonna get it to you. Yeah, it took a while. Took a while, but we're gonna get it to you. I mean, I know you got to slaughter like a bunch of sheep. Just to get my cotton, you know what I'm saying, for my side. But hey, I, I, understandable. Yo, understandable. Three point five million silkworms. You know what I mean. He's dedicated. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Dedicated to my guy. Docs was good, <laughs> man. Out on the West Coast. I see you. Los, what's going on, man? So what's good, man? Great debate. Great debate going on. Obviously, we did our talking behind the scenes. Talking about uh some of the guys that passed through our doors. Um Facts. Can I do this? It, it's been it's been kind of crazy, bro. Cause uh you gotta think. I know okay. some of y'all jumped on a little late, but we've been doing this since like 2013. So yeah, it'll, it'll be 10 years next year, right? It'll be 10 years next year. So okay. it's it, time is time is definitely going, bro. Time is definitely going. So. I'm looking forward to seeing, you know, what's coming up next in a sense. You feel me? So Yeah, because last summer the talent pool was crazy. Yeah, i I can't even lie about it. It was O D last summer. Hold on, send it a few. Yeah. It was definitely O D last summer. It was it was ridiculous, bro. It was ridiculous. <laughs> like we had kids from Jersey, Westchester County, Rockland County, of course. Just all over and they were nice, bro. Some kids from the city. Don't right. forget Orange. Orange County was definitely they rap, in the rap, They rap crazy. Shout yeah. out to Hot on Duty. <laughs> nah, man, I'm, si I'm sick of Tibby, matter of fact. <laughs> <laughs> not just skits. <laughs> not just skits. <laughs> sick of not just skits, bro. That's funny, yo. Sick of him, bro. <laughs> But yeah, like I said, man, it's been, it's been good. It's been a good, uh, great, rather, situation for the last decade i guess so i just wanted to show love to uh, you know some of the guys that's kind of been around you feel me yeah okay. um y'all remember anything about the havistra era before we get into it bro um i wasn't really around for that so i i i can't say much but i mean I, all the hoopers that hoop back then are dudes that i've known when, since we was young so so i already know the kind of kind of work they was bringing so let me put y'all on this you on the spot then, Bravo. You know what I'm saying? Uh so who would be in your having straw starting five then or your or your North Rockland all time starting five? Who you got? NR? Chill, 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 chill. No, all right, be, all right. Wait, hold I mean, on, no, hold on, no. It could be street. It could be they played in school. It don't matter. I'm gonna ask you the okay. same thing, DSP. But since y'all wasn't there for the having straw, this is what y'all gotta do. Give me y'all. Oh my oh, God! All right, so gotta go, gotta go, with my guy, gotta go, with my guy, Shannon, number one, Shannon, number one, because dude was a dog back in high school. He was killing dudes back in the day. I remember when we was hooping out in the court behind the behind the gym mm -hmm. near the fence by the fields in school. We was hooping. You know that court? Yeah, you had to bring your A game. Yeah, you had to bring yeah near the handball court. You had to bring your A game, or you had, you got next. You had next, unless you brought the ball. You brought the ball. You was playing. You brought the ball. You, you had got an to. extra game. You got like an extra life in Mario. Facts. <laughs> facts. Facts. So Shane is definitely number one. Back then, oh man, you gotta go. You gotta go a super pack. You gotta go air air mirror. That's he was a guy. demon. That's my so guy. I go air mirror. I go. I go. My man, Big Ra, Ra Chase. For sure. And I think they was all teammates now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, those three were definitely on the same team, punching yeah. people yeah. back in that time. It, it, was, it was ridiculous watching them. I got to throw I gotta throw the old block boy on there. I got to throw Z. I got to throw Z on there. And I think they all hoop together now that I'm thinking about Yo, it. This might be a little biased. <laughs> 
I'm just saying. I'm just saying. And if I'm, I'm trying to remember. Only other person I will put that's out of North Rockland. Back then, hooping. If I'm, if I got my error right, I gotta put Joe there because I think Joe was hooping for Valley, if I'm not mistaken. Joe around the same time I was in high school. Yeah, he was. So, he was wild. Yeah, yeah. From what I remember, I, those games was always lit. Me and me and Big Bro have always talked about that. Even on the um, on the the our show, I can't remember the name right now. I'm slacking. Never but Town TV. Never Tuck Your Town TV. Thank you, sir. I know you had it. I know you had it. I, I know you did. Now, so you, you don't only got like a million hours worth of footage on the show, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, um, the only other person I put on there is Joe because I remember back in the day those rivalry games, Spring Valley versus North Rockland, especially when it's at at the high school. Place was rocking. Both sides of the gym full, standing room only, just to see these dudes hoop for forty minutes, and it was always fire. It was always fire. Or thirty two minutes. They play eight minute quarters. I remember that. Always fire. Right. Uh oh. Uh oh, DSP. Uh oh, DSP. Uh oh. All, right. all time. It don't matter what time period. All time. Let me hear you. All right. All right. Who you got? All right. I got to go with my guy, Tron Carswell. Got yeah. to check it. Oh. Dual, dual I'm sport to, athlete. I'm thinking y'all back. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Ooh, I, go, I got to go with my guy, Tron Carswell, for sure. You know, for okay. the big man. Had the dream shake, could get the boards and all that. So Tron was a beast. I was a young man, but Tron was a beast. Tron was cheating. He was cheating. John Thompson. Who was it? John John Thompson. Thompson. Ramapo. Oh, I I remember that one. Nah, he was before you, Fred. Yeah, that was. Oh, nah. Yo, Brad, remember when you told him, yo, shoot from the North Rockland side? Yo, bravo. No lie, right? So this got to be. 98 maybe it's got to be 90 okay so i was in middle yeah, school i was in middle school right 98 99 something like yep. that i remember i was in the crowd front row this yep. dude was waxing north rockland i'm not gonna yes. so i get to talking to him oh you trash you trash bro you garbage <laughs> you getting lucky today's your lucky day this this that you won't shoot from there bro this right guy, look like what the red raider joint pulled up Splash! I said, "Oh!" Mm. And look mm. at Brett. And look at Brett. Look right at me, like. What you say? Say that again. Yeah, yeah. John Thompson was yo DSP. I gotta watch you, DSP. <laughs> yo, just say it. What's going on out here. Next, yo, the Punisher, bro. The Punisher <laughs> in high school was a problem. The Punisher, Demon, huh? Bro. He was a problem, bro. He was still yo, doing that kid, cheating yo. up and under move? Up and under. Yo, he would take it to the buttercup, like, straight up. <laughs> on Tron. <laughs> on Tron. Buttercup. Tron was like 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, not, not Kevin. He gave North Rockland fit. So he, I definitely have to put him up there. Kevin Blair. Ooh. Mm. Shout out to Bulls. I remember him Blair. as a youngin'. Kevin Blair uh, was a beast in high school, bro. You still to... Blair? Uh. Cook, cook, I remember him from cook. high school, for real. Um, and who else can I say right now? Yo, Steve Diaz. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yo, I oh, wait, was hold like... on, hold on. Tron, Punisher, John Steve Diaz, John, John Thompson, Tom. Kevin, and Blair. Kevin Blair. Oh, my God. That's the time. That's the hoops I was watching, bro. That oh my was God. The hoops I was watching, bro. That's crazy. First of That's all, crazy. First of all, first of all, first of all, you know you're going to get some hate mail from my oh, man cool. Boo Gambino. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. <laughs> you know Boo didn't Boo play. Boo didn't play when I, I, like, when I seen Boo, it was in the street. I was trying to get <laughs> all the guys. That was, you know, on teams. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Boo, Boo, Boo was a demon though back Boo, in the day. Boo was a street man, you know yeah, that. But you know he got, you know he got have some heat for you. He's gonna be like, oh what? <laughs> you said all like, my, my, all my juniors, but not me. What? Yeah. Uh oh, uh oh, DSP. I feel sorry for you, Playboy. Uh, <laughs> uh, let me see. Uh, all right, all right. I can't argue with that. Like I said, because for the earlier. Uh, VOH leagues, you guys weren't around, so right, I'm not right, gonna right, right. penalize you for that. So talking in the shadows, you know what I'm saying? Talking in the shadows, 
getting with people, understanding some things. Um, yeah, we yeah. went with for our starting five for Havistraw, just the Havistraw era, only the Havistraw era. We got at center, Baby Shack, man. Baby Shack, bro. He was, he was, even then, he wasn't even as polished as he is now. But he right. was just was raw, right? He was just raw talent, just punishing mm. people, bro. <laughs> like if you go back to the old footage, it's nothing nice. <laughs> okay. 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 It's just straight dog work. Uh, a nice. little bit of his stats. <laughs> he was uh his post up game. Obviously, we're gonna give him a plus on that. His mid range at that time, we'll give him a plus on that. He still had the tray ball, but it was it was hidden. It was hidden. So okay. out of all the bigs, he was probably one of the King few. He gets bad yet, say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So one of the few <laughs> that hit the three, obviously he was blocking shots. Come on, he was he was punching stuff. So in Havistraw's career, he was about 17.8 points per game, 11 rebounds, 11.4 rebounds, 2.6 blocks. Solid. Pretty solid. Man. He had uh, two finest four appearances, three championship appearances, and he was the a two-time finalist for the MVP. Oh, nice! So nice. he was balling. That, that's yeah. when he was in high school, or just out of high school? Just out of high school. So he was definitely making his rounds. Like I said, very, okay. very, very raw at that time. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Somebody else earlier in our stages that came through and really did some work. Mo buckets. Mm. The the surname you heard you know what I'm saying I'm about. <laughs> he's the That's original fact, bro. the surname of buckets you feel what I'm saying like <laughs> any buckets comes after Mo buckets right right right, right. Like this dude right here when he stepped on the scene immediate <laughs> electricity immediate buckets immediate he was given everybody it didn't matter who you were he was giving everybody buckets it was ridiculous so we had him at number four you know um for his career 26.4 points per game 5.3 rebounds 4.3 assists 1.2 steals so it's not like he wasn't getting busy and playing defense right right oh. definitely a leak out master i ain't gonna lie he, he definitely hit the fast hey, break hey, he hey, definitely hey, hit hey. that fast break button hey. a lot of the game baby it's rebound <laughs> his call for the ball button. Oh man, it's just oh, right. right. Yo, he's spamming A. Spamming he's spamming A. All right, he's here. He's here. <laughs> you know, here. I'm open. Call for the ball, yo. It was no joke. I go, bro. He was always on the break. But uh, like I said, bro. So now in this Havistra era, wasn't a lot of food. I'm gonna keep it a buck. Wasn't a lot of food because of PE. PE was eating up all the plates. So yeah. with that being said, he's he still had one finest four appearance, two championships in that time period. He had one in the uh, fall and one in the winter. So okay. he slid out of there with two chips, and nice. he was a finals MVP. Nice. So it's pretty hard to go against somebody with those type of credentials plus getting right. buckets at such a high rate. You know what I mean? <laughs> Back. Back. Out to Mo Buckets once again, the surname of Buckets. The surname. <laughs> so, <laughs> yo, I, obviously, you can oh, tell I'm, I'm Game of Thrones out, baby. I've been doing my Game of Thrones binge watch, so yeah, that's the surname. Yeah, yeah. Buckets. Uh, Anyone uh, after him is a descendant. You feel me? First, first of his name. First, first of his, his name, name, right there. You feel me? Worse. <laughs> 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 so, uh, up next at the three spot. Bravo! Thank you for giving us that uh that 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 segue. That's how you do it. <laughs> yeah. The segue. You gotta get on the segue. Yes, sir. The general. Okay. Bro, he came on the scene. Wallet. I told him to his face, if this is wrestling, you, my friend, are Stone Cold Steve Austin on this show. <laughs> 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 you know, all the talent in the world, but. Some of your teammates might catch a stunner at the end of the show. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? DTA on it. He's DTA in. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 he means well because he's there to win. He's there to win. 100%. Right. Do not get it twisted. He's there to win. But Ooh. sometimes he, he, he definitely gets on his uh 
his bully will say. Uh, right. No pun intended. Shout out to the bullies. But uh, have a straw. Right. He's at 23.6 points per game, 4.3, 4 4.2, sorry, rebounds per game, 5.4 assists, 2.2 steals. Boy was dogging. Mm. I mean, that whole time he was dogging. Yeah, hey, a little bit of not let me let me not one game can mm. I remember that he took time off. Mm. Dogging people. I do remember specifically one time in one of our fall or winter seasons. At that time it's kind of all, you know what I'm saying? So uh one all of right. our fall or winter seasons, there was a dude that came from Mount Vernon. And his claim to fame was, yo, man, you know me, I get busy. You know who I played with. Ah ah ah. Yada yada yada, blah right. blah blah. You know how it goes. And yeah, we, in, okay. we we in the having straw gym. Right, right. So you know it's different. That energy in there was different. Oh, of course. Oh, yeah. fans, is, fans is on your neck. They might as well be in your jersey yeah. with you. Yeah. You suck, you suck, yeah. you suck, yeah. you yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was tight in there. So it was good because when you get in that gym, you gotta play. So yeah. don't get me wrong, dude was getting his, you know, getting his buckets before he ran into the general. Right. The general locked him up, gave him 30, sent him on his way. Mm -hmm. So I got to give him credit for that. He was nice. nice. Never took your town is 100% in that guy. Nice. So uh, a few of his stats, uh, he had three finest four appearances. He has two VOH championships in that time period. Nice. Fall and winter. Ironically, both times, who's on his roster? Mo Buckets. Mo Buckets. <laughs> mm. So right. he knows a, he mm. knows a good gun when he sees one. You feel me? Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah. And don't get it twisted, because Mo Buckets did play on the bullies as well. Matter of fact, at one time I had Mo Buckets, uh, Lethal Weapon, and Baby Shaq. Damn. And we still couldn't pull it off. So mm. for all you guys, yo, I know Brad's rigging the league. <laughs> 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 I know he is Gotta telling love you. <laughs> yeah. Love yeah, it's not going down. And uh, last but not least, he also has one finals MVP in that time period. Nice. So nice. definitely, <laughs> definitely a solidified vet. Shout out to Joe the General. Obviously, still rocking, doing his thing in 35 and up as well. So, yep, yep. yeah, this guy right here is a menace. Straight up. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up basketball menace. Back. Back. So then you got your guy. My guy, our guy, the town's guy, Straw Town Zone, number two, 40 Cal. 40. Oh, come on, man. 40? Yeah. 40 Cal. Yo, this guy right here. Long long lineage. He right. a part of, too. Well, we talking about the, the prestige of Palisades Elite. Man, this guy's at the top of the list. He got to be. Got to be. Mm -hmm. Got to be. So from day one, when they were 2013, the black team, uh-oh, Justin Porter Jr. is on the check-in. What's happening? Uh -oh. uh, when, when they were the black team, like, they wasn't even Palisades Elite. This is before, you know what I'm saying, Palisades The names Elite. and the jerseys and all that, right? Way before that. They were the black team. He was holding it down. You feel me? Then, as the summers went on, this boy was just, might as well have been Jay-Z at that time. Mm. I don't even know how many summers he was hot for. You feel me? <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> yeah, Steph, that's bars, by the way. Get your bars up. But, uh, oh, man. Yo, you know, come on, man. You know, I, you know I got to, man. You know I got Always to. Always challenging Steph, yo. You know Always I got to, You know I got to. So that boy right there, I'm not going to oh, man. Been putting in work. And then, like you said, uh, even in a North Rockland lineage, you was talking about his brother, right? Brother. Yeah. Now let's go to him, player of the year. Right. Mm. Let's yeah. not get it twisted. Yeah. Like player of the year when he was in high school. Yeah. So, yes, he was. So yeah. From, from then. That was uh that was the OG Clark Kent era. My 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 boy. Yeah, I remember that. That's him, Mega Man. That's the Jesus. Yeah. My man yeah. Primate, Steve Rosa. I, yeah. I, I, oh yeah, I yeah. I pride me because when I seen him when he was like ten, this dude's hands was so damn big, large. Yo, always, <laughs> <laughs> always. That was football. football. I remember. I'm like, what is wrong? This guy catches everything. I looked at his hands. Mm. His hands were bigger than mine. I'm like, the hell? Large. Yeah, yeah. Word up. 
Yo, Los, for real, our freshman team was definitely no joke. Shout out to us. Okay, so this, this is Los. He said something about Air One earlier. Yeah, yeah his team is all-time five. And it's, and it's all-time five. All five. Steve G. Yeah, yeah, Air One. Who? Air One. Biggs. Oh, yeah, Tyrone Biggs. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Biggs was different. Yeah. He said Smokey, too. And Smokey, y'all don't Smokey. Y'all definitely. Don't I remember Smokey. I might have been young, but that's Boo's Smokey. brother. Boo's yeah. brother, that that guy with the three points from half court. Damn man, that's what I was court. talking about. And you were like, nah, you thinking about Smokey? Okay, 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 okay. Three okay, okay. pounds, cashing out on everything. Demon, can't demon, him, can't steal the ball from him. Got handled. Nope. Lay package. It was. It was. Right. Stupid. Yep. It was, it was yep. dumb. You're not blocking them. It was just dumb. But anyway, so let's get back to, to our guy, uh, 40 Cal. Just yeah. didn't have a short time period now. Shot creator, check. Tray ball, check. Clutch factor, check. Yep. Defense, check. He was locking up guards. Yep. DSP, bravo, as y'all still know now, yep. locking up guards. Yep. <laughs> so yep. it, ain't nothing really changed, you feel me? Right. Uh, no. He was that don't go away. That goes away last. Right. <laughs> he was at uh 21 points per game, 21.6 points per game, 4.1 rebounds per game, 7.2 assists per game, 2.1 steals per game. Nice. Then let's talk trophies. <laughs> oh, chip by after chip. I, I oh man. Yeah. Un unofficial, right? Unofficial 2013. Black team got that. 2014 summer. Got that. Summer 2015. Got that. Fall 2015. Summer 2016. Plus finals MVP. Uh, summer 2017. Summer 2018. Oh, plus finals MVP. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Go back to, go back to 2014 again. 2014. Chip. 2015. Chip. Summer fall, chip. 2015. Chip. Fall. Yeah, yeah. So summer and then fall. Right, so back to back. So he swept the he swept the year. Yeah, the whole year. Yeah, right. And then 2016, 2016 summer or 2016. 2016 summer now, cause we didn't have a, a winter. So 2016 summer, Chip, Finals MVP. Let me get that. Summer 2017, right? Because see now that fall, insert the general. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Okay. So that, there wasn't enough scraps going around in those time periods, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Insert the general. So now, summer 2017, chip. Now, fall, insert the general and um, Mo Buckets. Mo Buckets. That's it. That's the only That's the only two. And then him again, mm. 2018. Oh, wait, plus the finals MVP. Let me get that. <laughs> so when I said there was, it was not enough plates, bro. Nah. These, For sure. these guys were washing everybody up. And it's not like we weren't inviting whoever. However, at that time, we were even doing a draft. Okay. So Havish was drafting. Invited guests, bring who you want. And people were still not getting dubs. Shout <laughs> out. So let's think about That's that. Top check in. Let's think about that. We're handicapped in Havish Straw. You feel right. me? Because we're drafting. Like at one point we were doing it where you kept your top three. Like you you got three franchise players, then you have to yeah, yeah. seven. You know? Yeah. So imagine every year we're draft or every season pretty much we're drafting. So all those right. seasons we're drafting in between to get those rocks. And players. he's and he's still getting chips. And anyone else that is playing in our league is bringing their team. Mm. Bring who you want. I don't care who you bring. Oh, oh okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Crazy. That's crazy. Crazy. So just to put it in perspective of how these guys were wilding at that time period, they were wilding, bro. Mm. Then number one, bro. I get one of those Bravo drum rolls. Woo! -hoo -hoo! I've been waiting for that. Okay. I ain't gonna hate on you like your co-host. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> I ain't gonna hate on you like your co-host be hating. You feel me? You know what I mean? A... <laughs> oh, coming, God, coming I'm from the now. Oh, <laughs> hey, 
Hey, I gotta do what I gotta do because I only get a few chances to take my shots, you know, because I got to be one one. You feel me? I'm in the truck. You know what I'm saying? I don't get no light. You know what I mean? So I got to oh, man. So uh, let's see. Number one. Number one. We're going to go with the real Perez. Yeah. This, mm. this menace in the paint was ridiculous, Bravo. It didn't, mm. it didn't matter who you brought. didn't matter who was your big. It didn't matter if you were in zone. It didn't matter if you were on man. This guy was OD. 100% mm. Tim Duncan prototype. Just here to win. Give me the ball. I'm here to operate. Up and under. You know what's coming. <laughs> you know Got what's him. coming. You know it's baseline up and under. You know what's coming. Only yeah. only thing that matters is if I get an and one or if I'm shooting two. That's it. <laughs> Keep right, 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 right. So he, he was OD. <laughs> and then 20, let's say 13, 14, 15, 16, <clears throat> he was bouncing. Mm. So mm. it wasn't even fair when he had to bounce. Because he was he was hitting dudes with the EDR double jump. So imagine, wow. yeah, he had the EDR double jump, plus he's super bouncy, plus he had the high IQ. He was yeah. wilding, bravo. DSP, he was wilding back then. There's no, I, if anybody got any debates, that's fine. Definitely when we upload this to, uh, you know, uh, we're going to upload this on the channel. And when we upload this to YouTube, definitely let us know in the comments how you feel. Because, oh, for sure. bro, he was wilding. El Gallo, please, El Gallo, let them know. Look at my man, Jeff R. Smith in the building. Jeff R. Smith, if I'm lying, please let me know if I'm lying. But this dude right here, the real Perez at number one career we're gonna go boards definitely we're gonna give him a a plus on that bounce like i said from 2013 to about 2016 the bounciest one of the boun mm. bounciest in our league at that time was the glitch he was no fit yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> i remember you talking about the glitch, yeah. the glitch was no fit shout out to maino and them boys when they came up actually og black panther is from lineage from maino Okay. Maino brought that okay. team at one of our drafts. That's how okay. probably like 2014, 2015. So that's how wow. Black Panther, OG Black Panther. Yeah. He's surname. That's what I'm saying. He's the first. Okay. Right, 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 right. First of his name. First of his name. Because I know how sometimes I'll be hearing them shots that are oh, ever evolving nicknames. <laughs> <laughs> that's why some of them got surnames. You feel me? Right, right, right. right, right. right. So, you know, some of them are the first. So, anyway, the bounce, the post game, and the finish through contact is the most important. This guy, mm. he had his and one totals were ridiculous. Ridiculous. Hero in a half shell on the check in. My God, Birdo. But uh, his finish through contact, ridiculous. This guy's. Average, he's probably averaging eight free throws a game. Oh, he was getting to the line like that. Yeah, he was getting to the line like that. Eight a game, you said? If if yeah. anybody in the comments is from that time period, let me know if I'm lying. Because, I mean, anybody in the chat, let me know in the comments if I'm lying. Because I swear to you, he was getting about seven to eight free throws a game. Now, up and under, wow. slow, methodical, Tim Duncan style, post, presence. It was OD, bro. It was OD. Mm. It was OD. So anyway, he got 23 points a game, 23.1 points per game, 16.4 rebounds a game, 4.1 assists, 1.4 steals, 1.7 blocks. Wasn't really there for the shot blocking. I'm not going to front. He was yeah, not there. For, yeah. But as far as defensive help, defensive IQ, things of that nature, always being in the right spot, that's what he was great at. Blocking shots in that time period, that's baby Shaq. EDR, I'll let y'all debate it out. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But out of them two, that's who was the the only person that, uh, only people that I would say were on some shot blocking stuff. Um, We spoke about chips before with uh, 40 Cal. So now right here, we have him at 2014, but he was the finals MVP. 2015, but he was the finals MVP. Mm. 2015 fall, he's the finals MVP. Summer 2016, fall 2016, summer 2017, summer 2018. If you notice, Steph, the only difference is Steph is missing one chip. Yeah. That's when Steph played with uh, Too Light Tay. Okay. Mm. Played with the fam for one season. 
Okay. Know? Mm. So, so, uh, so, uh, to put it in perspective, it was like imagining Shawn Michaels, you know what I'm saying, turning evil or something. Go to go put it on the for a second. And what's crazy yeah. is they made it to the chip. The family made it to the chip, all the way to the chip. But unfortunately, you know, shout out to Young Boy at the time we used to call Hoop Firm. Shout Ooh, out to yeah. Okay. Young boy, young boy. Yeah, he was, he was he's a dog, man. Always been a dog. He was definitely appreciate you, 5TC Athletics, man. Hopefully, we can get some things going together, man, in the future. Definitely. Always got to work yeah, together to get this thing going. But, uh, yeah, shout out to him, Coop Firm, you know, a.k.a. Young Bull. Back then, he was wild. I think, actually, then, that's when Young Bull was the finals MVP. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, that year. So, okay. not only did how crazy is it, right? You got uh, the real Perez, childhood long friends with the Martinez family, you know? Mm -hmm. And now you got the brothers going against each other. Shane and, mm -hmm. Shane and coaching Palisades Elite. That's while funny. his brother is on the other side. That finals was crazy, man. That you was know? crazy. <laughs> so if that is crazy. Chance, go back to our old footage on YouTube. You know, a lot of people weren't really hip to our YouTube channel then, so the views are pretty low. But hopefully guys will get hip to it, understanding we did have footage back then, but we just weren't. I guess we weren't on the same page that YouTube is so prominent now, a promoter yeah. that much, you know, so we didn't do well on the promotion. YouTube's a, YouTube's a way more powerful tool now than it was, than it was. Uh, nine years ago, especially for sports. Right. You feel me? Um, so. We weren't really thinking that far in advance. I was thinking about a lot of things, but sorry, I can't do it all but thankfully mm -hmm. linked up with my god dsp linked up with you and now <laughs> yeah right <laughs> here we are here we are all right so have a straw era let me wrap it up for anybody just tuning in at number five for the have a straw era we had at uh baby shack number four we have mo buckets surname just so anybody understands that's watching this that is the the guy Anyone after him with the bucket surname, you got it from Mo Buckets. <laughs> He's the OG. That's it. Yeah, uh, let's make sure we give him his credit is, early. Is that Beatrice Bouquets too, or not? Nah? Yeah, her too. Okay. I'm, yeah, you <laughs> feel me? You right, feel right. She a disparate member of the family because hers is a little French. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Right, right. Bouquets. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, so she, yeah, she a yeah. cousin. You know what I'm saying? Jumped off the ship. You know what I'm saying? Got, yeah, got yeah, 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 else yeah. Got it popping. <laughs> Got you, got you, got you. You know what I mean? Oh, you know, man. Bo Buckets back in the day might have been a wild boy. You know what I ain't going to be in this business. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what they did. You feel me? So, uh, you got uh, Mo Buckets at number four. You got uh, the General at number three. Shout out to the General again. Uh, 40 Cal. Shout out to 40 Cal. Boy was a dog. Still a dog doing his thing. Uh, at number two, and then at number one, uh, the unspoken hero, man, the real Perez. This guy, mm. a walking double double, man. First name 20, last name 10. Boy, you know, just lock it in, <laughs> just lock it in, man. Lock it in, lock in, lock in 20 and 10, and lock in at least three and ones. Just lock it in. If this is fantasy, lock it in. <laughs> crazy. That's crazy. He's definitely leading the league in points for real, for real. Fantasy right. points, yeah, right? He's, he was OD. But uh, if I have to go with, like, if I have to extend a little bit, I would have to say shout out to a guy like uh, Lethal Weapon. He came into that gym, boy. That guy was so electric, so electric at that time. Still is, man. Still uh, is. We mentioned the glitch. The glitch was, was doing his thing. He was outrageous. Mano, uh, Jermaine Wallace, uh, shout out to him. Right now he's doing his fitness thing going crazy but oh, okay 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 at that time yeah he was he was wilding um i don't want to you know not say people but, you know sorry it was a long time ago but there was a lot of guys that came through there man that were just washing people up the ringer oh my yeah. god the ringer he was like i don't know how to explain the energy around him because he was he came on palisades elite one summer and this dude i didn't see him miss two mid-range jump shots. I, I I don't think I saw him miss two mid-range jump shots. Wow. Word, word, word. Shout out to my man right here, KJ, Call of Duty. Why you call him Call of Duty, dad? Because all he does is shoot. 
Yeah, that's for right. real. That's I'm right. saying Call of Duty. Call of Duty. The only <laughs> issue with Call of Duty, I would say, like some of these guys didn't really play enough seasons to kind of meet the threshold. You know what I mean? But shout out yeah, to yeah. Because there was a lot of guys, like I said, I don't, I don't want to miss guys, but there were a lot of guys. Any guys that I miss, please feel free in the comments when we upload this. Give them their flowers, man. Stop acting like, you know, you can't give people credit. Like, I don't understand. Yeah. Like, right. it's, it's it's very weird to me, right? That's how that's how these young guys always say, he's weird. He's acting a little weird. He's weird. Everybody's weird, right? Well, y'all are weird that y'all don't show love to, like, the people that came before you, in a sense. Like, it's not right, that of big of a deal. Like, not. It's not that big of a deal. So all the guys, once again, from the Havistro time period, shout out to you guys because you guys kind of built this thing up to give us the the confidence to even move on to what we're going to talk about next with the West Rock era when things went super crazy. Summer <laughs> 2019, when we had our first summer madness season, it was ridiculous, bro. Mm -hmm. Ridiculous it was. That but, uh, was um that was MTE Global Gym. MTE yes, Global sir. Gym. New York is a nationality. Uh Major Money's fifty point yeah, performance. Fifty point thirty the next in one half. Yeah, he was the a, underdogs. The underdogs is underdogs the era. Yeah, underdogs, they were all damn I, I don't get crazy. Uh, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. <laughs> I think I think they upset somebody that he wasn't I trying to he didn't want to bring up. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Drew Ziggler. You see V I this summer. Because no no, no <laughs> lie. They them guys, them guys put together a uh one of our most fun Cinderella stories that we could put together. Right, yeah, like those guys really came through. And if anybody's like, Oh, the team, this, this, that, if I don't got nah, these guys came through that summer and they washed up guys that were a lock to go yep. to you know the finest four, things like yep. that. A lot for the elite yep. eight, these guys were washing them up and sending them on their way. So, definitely, definitely shout out to the underdogs because yeah. they definitely, yep, yep, yep. as far as that time period, they're one of the teams that. If we could talk about teams, they're definitely one of the teams that were very impactful, especially that first year. And they started, which is funny with them, they started as a free agent team in Havistraw. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Yeah, I so thought they started at West Rock. Nah, so they started out as a free agent team in Havistraw. Shout out to Mish, right? Coach Mish, right? Mish yeah. was coaching them. She right. started coaching them in Havistraw as a free agent team. I did not know that. Yes, okay. uh, out of the, let's say, 10 players, four of them might have already been, like, cohesive. Okay. So we got to West Rock, they stuck together and kind of just made the rest of the team. Okay. So, mm. so that's a – so when they were in Havistraw, I believe they made the playoffs, um, but they didn't really make any noise. So then got now it. 2019, that was 2018. 2019 – is when they really, really made noise. So as far mm -hmm. as the franchise, I would say 2019 would be probably their most uh, finest year. Okay. So as far as yeah. that and uh, West Rock, yeah, it was a it was a lot of teams, bro. A lot of yeah. teams. Shout out to Coin. Shout out to yeah. Coin. They came Shout through, put a team in. You know what I mean? Yeah. That was tough. Um, Overlook Beats had, had a team. I remember that. Beats, definitely. That was uh, yeah, yeah. that was tough because they, they ended up having the Lethal Weapon as their franchise player. So yeah. he was wild in that summer. <laughs> had a triple-double. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, as far as the players go, uh, everybody in that West Rock era, they were, they were a lot of guys. But, you know, we're going to – I did a lot of talking, so. I'll leave it up to – we're going to start with you, DSP, since we started with Bravo first with the other list. Uh, who you got, man, in your, in your starting five, I guess we'll call it. Who you got in your starting five? All right. 